180. Tony, congratulations. Back in the quarterfinals here at the William Hill Grand Slam. A great way to do it against Danny Hamilton. Yeah, I mean, he's a bit of a legend there. I mean, uh, I think we're very, very similar characters as well as dart players. And uh, it was a great game, close game. Uh, I missed a couple of doubles early on, so did he. So, but I'm, I'm so chuffed to win that. He's, he's a great player to play against. He's a, a great name in darts. And uh, to win against him is fantastic. He was played in great spirits as well. There was, I think there was a great moment there where you both gave each other a high five after one of the big finishes. Well, I mean, to, to be honest, I would never go over the top with some of our candy anyways. And like, he does enjoy his darts, but I, I know it's meant in the right spirit and I've known him quite a long time, to be honest. And um, yeah, he's a legend of the game. He's a gentleman. I would never get too excited. If, if I'd have hit two nine darts, I wouldn't have gone too overboard. But yeah, he's a legend. I'm, I'm just so chuffed to have won. He edged you 8-7 on the 180s, but you're 140 tonight, there were 16 of them, and, and that really gave you the edge. To be honest, um, uh, at the late side, I think I hold the record there for one match, I hit almost 50 against my friend Daryl Fitton. Now, if you can hit that kind of 140 scoring, 180s are brilliant and they look great on the telly, but 140s are the, are the groundwork, and uh, if you hit plenty of them, you're not going to be far off. And I think on my darts, it just felt as if I hit two 140s every leg, and if you're doing that, you're not going to be far away, are you? You get to look forward now to a quarter-final on Friday. Unfortunately, it means you're going to miss going over to Jersey to play in the Open over there, though. Yeah, I'm gutted. Uh, I did exactly the same last year, but not because I was still in the tournament. I booked the wrong flight, but um, <laughs> I, I'd have gone there and really enjoyed myself in Jersey. And, um, but obviously, this is a, a major, major tournament, and to get this far into the tournament, I, I'm sure Howard Miller will understand I won't be there tomorrow. But um, good luck to everyone in Jersey. Obviously, it's going to be a great weekend, but unfortunately, I'm, I'm here at Wolverhampton trying to... Uh, Trying to win a major. <laughs> a bit of added incentive, I guess, for you going into, into the final few days. Of course. I mean, I keep falling just short in big competitions. and uh, But I feel as if I'm, 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 I'm in form at the right time. And uh, obviously that Mr. Mr. T is still about somewhere, isn't he? And, but I think he's in the other half of the draw. So yeah, you'd have to play him in the final. Well, I don't do finals, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing. Um, um, I mean, the crowd were, were fantastic tonight. Uh, they've been behind me every game, but I think that just shows the name Andy, Andy's got in the game. They didn't go overboard and they were so sympathetic, both players. They were awesome tonight and, and I think that paid off and we had a good game out of it. 48 hours to prepare, what will you do? Will you go back, back home and put your feet up? Um, I'm not sure now. I mean, it, it beats rushing to the airport for six o'clock in the morning, like I was going to have to do, but uh, I'd much rather stay in Wolverhampton and, and enjoy myself here. Yeah. Good man, put the passport away and unpack the, <laughs> unpack the case. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Tony. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. One hour. Really?